Okay. Thank you, Ruben. You're, I appreciate right. your patience. We're going to flow like water now. Okay. Hello, welcome to Water Peace Project's monthly water ceremony and collective consciousness mm. experiment where we send our love and gratitude for water, to Water for Peace. I'm Lindsay Fox, founder at Water Peace Project, and we're grateful for each of you who are tuning in today for this special water ceremony and experiment series with Aquasai. And for those of you tuning in the first time, this is a series of 12 experiments where we're exploring the power of consciousness through water. And today's actually our eighth experiment. So with World Water Day approaching, it's really truly an honor to welcome our honorary guest today. Uh, we have our World Water Day series happening with Global Love and Gratitude. So we have the H2OPI Water Messenger, Ruben Southke Sr. from the Petkiwamwa Hopi Water Clan. And Ruben is dedicated to sharing compassion for peace through water for all beings on Mother Earth. And Ruben will be guiding a daily meditation and experiment series also for the next eight days. So please keep tuning in with us. We're really excited to have Ruben here and we're flowing with love and gratitude. So Ruben, thank you and welcome. Beautiful morning to everyone. Ruben Sivki Sr. Yan Pahan Ma my English name is Ruben Monroe Sufki Sr. Ne mam kasi yan hopi maatsiwa. My hopi name is mam kasi, which means afraid of the bear. And ne hapi pat I am water clan from the people of Hopi in Northeast Arizona. Kwakwat umat sanga api tamo yu kapewa na yako uwi yan tamo itayo. Yeah, no mummy tight a copy. No halaiti. O with them halaiki, I can yet it on and was he so me to turn happy view with two at tea. I'm very grateful, very honored for my water sister here, Lindsay, for connecting so that we can share the messages of water with each and every one of us and all beings that need water to thrive. And before I um, move, we, we move along a little bit more, I'd like to take my eagle feather here and a little sage and smudge so that it can cleanse the energy around us, within us, so that we can really flow like the water with no challenges. Always I honor the six cardinal directions because from all the six cardinal directions is where the spirits are at. And the seventh is ourself. So my sister Lindsay, please reach out your hand so I can cleanse you first. Ladies first.
So the little prayer that I had offered you, my sister, is cleansing your thoughts, cleansing your heart, so that we have a compassionate heart and a clear mind to come together as we share with the people that are joining us. And for myself is to strengthen myself to have a good heart, a clear mind to share what needs to be shared for all those that are joining us. It's very simple, but yet powerful because we have the elements and the eagle feather and the sage, the fire, which gives us all their strength. Thank you, Ruben. I mean, that really means a lot uh, for you to be here to share your water wisdom um, as we're all here connecting through water. Um, we're water people living on this water planet with water as our lifeblood for the people and the planet. And so with water's natural ability to record and store and transmit these wave informations, it's basically a mirror to our consciousness. So, and carrying within it all the information or all the vibrations of life and the prayers that you just shared with us uh, and our thoughts and emotions. And so through our bodies of water and flowing out into the stream and you know that flows into the river and finally into the big blue ocean. And so water is, what connects us all and all water is connected. So, and we know that it's a symbol, symbolic for life and flexibility and adaptation. And so this is why it's so important that we pay our respect to water. We, and people have been gathering around water for, you know, since the beginning of time holding rituals. Uh, so, but times like this, we really appreciate you, your blessings and you sharing these words because it feels like we have to get back more, you know, to nature and our roots and hearing our mother earth uh, more now than ever. So, and when we respect water, we're respecting ourselves and we're respecting others and the planet and so, um, and you know, we've been holding this water ceremony since March 11th, 2011, when Dr. Emoto had dedicated this day for uh, a day for prayer for peace, because he, he believed that, you know, the power of prayer really could um, change the world. And it was through the resonance of us coming together, you know, um, in the numbers as we grow really, um, that we could really change the world. And so this is why we appreciate everyone joining us today from around the world, you know, to pay our respects here. And so for this experiment, um, we're all joining at the same exact time, collectively synchronizing our intentions and focusing our attention to the water sample at the same time. So this ex experiment we're doing actually lasts for 30 minutes and we can bring our focus to the water sample that we see the image on our screen. And this sample is located and isolated actually, um, like protected from everything in a lab um, in, located in Germany. And it's constantly being measured 24 hours a day for subtle changes taking place. And the, that research is um, was recently published. So all these experiments we're doing together as a part of that. So this is really inter interesting. It shows how when we synchronize um, that it actually can have an effect in, you know, um, even like things we wouldn't expect, but natural disasters, crime, sickness. So um, the power of synchroni synchronization is so important. So let's begin synchronizing. We'll take three deep breaths and I'll sound the crystal ball three times and let's connect to our heart and direct our sincere feelings to the water sample now.
And um, as I mentioned, it was Dr. Emoto's request that we make this day of the 11th where we send our collective love and gratitude to water. And he made that request after that massive earthquake and tsunami um, causing that terrible nuclear disaster, in Fukushima. And so since then we've been holding this, um, well, actually we've been seeing a lot of more natural disasters and everything. And so, um, and that's really indicating that we're really not listening. Ruben and I were sharing that together. You know, our mother earth's cries are getting louder and louder and still it seems like we're not listening. And so Dr. Emoto had a real um, brotherhood and resonance with native wisdom when it comes to listening and respecting our mother earth. And that's exactly why I invited Ruben to join us today actually. It was during our last trip in California with Dr. Emoto, uh, Ruben, and we were at the nuclear power plant um, on the 11th in San Onofre. And I clearly remember him explaining the importance of us all being together there and um, at the nuclear power plant. You know, it's the same concept as why we're all coming together and focusing at this water sample here and you know, we're all connecting through water for the power of consciousness, but really it was the resonance there that, you know, created the power of the prayer and he's, you know, all nuclear power plants uh, on an atomic level resonate. And so our prayers would be able to reach all nuclear power plants. So it was really an interesting lesson, but it's, you know, it's important that we come together, not just on the 11th for these things and not just on World Water Day. And, you know, it's a wonderful ritual, um, but we, you know, we need to be listening every day, right? And the more we tune into that and hear the, what those cries represent, the cries that are from within ourselves and that we're feeling around the world because truly the micro is the macro, right? We're all even though we're living a different life and world and we're different people, we're still feeling all that same stuff. And so when we listen, then we can begin to understand how to find peace and balance. So without any further ado, please welcome Brother Ruben Safki from the Pat Kiwangwa Water Clan. So welcome Ruben, thank you. Thank you very much. We by no hala kitanga itam ya so so yan so yan so out the kyang. You itam nana me yan yurikian put the kaivas you yung one. It pa huta aka kami e pa to a katsitak ai yan tam we have your kalak itam unang talawayan. Don't mat katsit ahu yes one have if you will be to a tea. O with them kanape na yakyang. I like yakyang unang talawayan. You are with Lomat Katina, what yes, one happy. If you will be as you were saying, Sister Lindsay, that you know, we many um, people throughout the world, humanity have disconnected, and we've disconnected because we have also become, uh, in my view have a uh, spiritually arrogant. And when I talk about spiritual arrogance, it's really our ego, our pride, you know. And when we disconnect from the ancestral teachings, this is where we fall out of balance, fall out of harmony. There is no unity. There is no peace within. And this was me over 20 years ago. I am 53 years old and I'm very grateful that I had gone through this uh, darkness and that darkness was actually fire water, alcohol. And I've learned alcoholism from my parents because I was born um, and raised in an alcoholic family and I knew the pain. And I didn't want to become an alcoholic, but I ended up becoming one. And it took me a while to change myself, to transform myself. 
the key was to be compassionate within to forgive myself. And at the age of 31, I finally began this journey. And through those years of that darkness, I was very disrespectful, very violent, dishonest, and many other mistakes I made. But through these challenges that I gone through, it's helped me now to be a better human being, to learn from my mistakes. And it's so gratifying to awaken my heart. I've said this in Hopi, Unang Talawa. Unangwa is our heart. Talawa is to awaken our heart. And it's only through compassion, through forgiveness, to forgiving ourselves first, is where we will find, we will find balance, harmony, unity, and peace within. And this is the symbol. This is our symbol that we say na kwatsin. Friends, the friendship symbol. The mind, the heart. Light, dark, negative, positive, you know. It's our yin yang symbol, you know. And this is what we can achieve. And this is what brings us hopiness, you know. And I'm still working on that path. I have a little bit of hopiness, but with that little hopiness through compassion, I'm sharing with others that we can transform our lives for the betterment. And water is the key element for this. When you feel the emotions through your sacred body, through your mind, through your eyes. And when you feel the emotions of whatever touches your heart, you cry. And the cry are tears of rain, cleansing yourself, healing yourself. And it is a it is a beautiful, gratifying experience, you know. For me, I was very, um, I, I didn't want to feel. So I used the alcoholism to down all the sorrows that I felt. But when I began my sobriety, I began to release the pain within. And all these feelings came and the tears started flowing. And it was... Uh, it was an amazing feeling, but a uh, strange feeling because I started to feel instead of being like a rock, you know. And now I'm, I'm not ashamed to cry when something or someone touches my heart. And when I cry, it's a beautiful feeling to have, to be able to share with others that we can cry and share the tears of joy, the tears of sadness. And the water is beautiful, you know. This experience of water flowing to us to share this is the key element that needs to happen and resonate, as you had mentioned in one of our sharings that it's like a stone when you throw into a pond it creates a ripple effect, you know. And that's my role, what I'm doing as the messenger of H2OPI to share through water that we can find peace. But that peace has to start within ourselves first, you know. Once we find that peace, we can share it with others that they find that peace. This to me is the meaning of hopiness, you know, the balance within to achieve hopiness. 
So this is what I share from my heart in the beauty of our sacred land, Hopititsqua, you know, the Hopi land here in Northeast Arizona and in Tiwanasave, the center of the universe. You know. But that center of the universe is within all of us, you know, right here, simply our heart. Thank you, Ruben. That, honestly, that for sharing such a personal story and, you know, our relationship water, with water is personal and um and powerful too so and sharing that experience is when we share that this is what really unites us right you know um and can heal so really how we come together and so you know um and it again that's where we feel that heart connection too right and that's that's just really you know the tears when I'm when I when you share those things and you know hearing that um, it it's just really powerful. So thank you. The you know that is important for Mother Earth. You know and healing and everything. So let's keep all that in mind and let's begin the water ceremony. And to begin, I'll sound the crystal bowl, and then Reuben will guide us in the ceremony. And then we will share the grand invocation in Japanese and the Ho'oponopono prayer. So, and let's just continue to connect to our heart and uh, send our sincere love and gratitude to the water sample during this time. So. Quiet, quiet. Thank you. Find the pio mumi. He saw the white in it. I like to share. This eagle feather. And again, the sage for everyone that is joining us. So when I light and burn the sage with the spirit of the eagle, I will bless, bring blessings of hopiness to each and every one of you through compassion, towards forgiveness, so that we can begin the healing through water. I like yang umah kahitak ipuya ni kahitak umah na ipuya kyang hala kya kyang nang talawayan lumat kati nang wat pia ho yes one happy pi uvi kana pelo na yani I hala kyang kwa A short prayer for everyone that is joining us through the spirit of the ego, through the elements of the fire and the sage, the smoke is the prayer for cleansing, so that you find the compassion to forgive yourself for whatever challenges you. And I know we all have challenges in our, each of our personal lives, you know. I have my own challenges that I constantly work on you know um but i'm grateful for those challenges because it gives me strength 
And I use the elements and the spirits to give me the strength to endure these challenges. So in a way, I always use myself as an example and say, if I can change, anyone can change. You know? And I'm so grateful for these challenges that made, has helped me to be a better human being. You know? And what one thing I also like to share is that you know, since we are talking about water, our philosophy here on Hopi is all about water. We live on the driest barren land here in the high desert, which is 7,000 feet above sea level. You know, we do not have the ocean. We do not have the rivers. What we have is small springs coming out from the cliffs from the mesas. And this is the breeding hole for the aquifers that is underneath us. You know? So when we plant, we do not irrigate because we don't have the water to irrigate. Everything revolves around our daily life, our ceremonies and our prayers to Father Universe to bring us the moisture so that it can help everything to grow you know but the most important thing is how we live our daily life how we practice the philosophy the foundation given to us from our ancestral teachings and the elders of all our grandfathers our grandmothers our uncles you know it's simple but yet quite challenging in this sacred beautiful barren land but this barren land was given to us for us to leave here to help keep mother earth and all life in balance in harmony in unity in peace so simply also is that we are all clouds and the reason why we are all clouds is our bodies are made out of water over 75 percent so we are rain clouds so whatever color your skin is you are that rain cloud my sister Lindsay here is the white cloud i am the red cloud our brothers and sisters down south are the black cloud. Our brothers and sisters to the east are the yellow cloud. All of us living together here on Mother Earth. Each in our own way, praying to the Supreme Being. Respectfully in our own ancestral teachings, our own cultures. But what binds and bounds us is water, you know. And what flows to us is the blood from our ancestors. So my encouragement that I hope you will take as an empowerment is to remember your ancestral teachings so that you can become rooted once again. And if you are all already doing that, then you can always strengthen yourself, better ourselves so that you can share with others that the rest of humanity finds the great awakening within their hearts at this very sacred time that we are all affected by, you know. And it's a very sacred time. And we need to be more respectful, more compassionate, to one another as human beings you know but also not to forget about all the other life that lives lives here on mother earth you know the animals the birds the plants you know all these beings and throughout the waters you know about throughout the waters as we see the background behind my sister here and even throughout the universe the beings out there also, you know, the star beings. You know, we all live together here. 
in the great mystery, as some say, you know. So in this prayer of compassion and forgiveness, I will share a song with the prayers in them, calling in all the sacred directions for the rain clouds to come, to bring us the moisture so that we can cleanse ourselves as we all grow along with all life that needs water, moisture to grow. But for us as humanity, we also can take this out to empower us so that we can cleanse ourselves to heal from whatever we are going through, what we are challenged, even our sicknesses, you know. So please join me in prayer as I share this song with everyone. <clears throat> It's an eagle song, and we use the eagle to be our messenger, to carry our prayers on its strength, on its wings to the creator. And in return, creator will instruct our father's son to distribute all our prayers throughout the world with its rays of light. So embrace the light with this song, the drum, my voice, and your prayers resonates. The vibrations are powerful as we join one another for a great, for a great awakening towards healing within. <clears throat>
And now we're going to share the grand invocation in Japanese. And this was a powerful kotodama, a spirit of words that was created for peace on earth by Dr. Emoto's teacher. And um, they believe that the power of all of us coming together and chanting this um, and the meaning of Engl in English is the eternal power of the universe has gathered itself to create a world of true and grand harmony. And so you can just follow along by repeating after me. Uchu no Mugen no. Uchu no Mugen no. Shikara ga Korikote. Shikara ga Korikote. Makoto no Daiwa no. Makoto Daiwa no. Mio ga Narinata. Mio ga Narinata. Uchu no Mugen no. Uchu no Mugen no. Shikaraga Korikote. Shikaraga Korikote. Makoto no Daiwa no. Makoto Daiwa no. Mio ga Narinata. Mio ga Narinata. Uchu no Mugen no. Uchu no Mugen no. Shikaraga Korikote. Karga Korokote. Makoto no Daiwa no. Kata Daiwa no. Mio ga Narinata. Mio ga Narinata. ありがとうございます。ありがとう。うん。おい、かっこいい。パイオンピタもやんとかだよ。ピタミヤ、あい。あんなおいたかい。あくたんぴょはらいけん。なほんぐいとたに。あんとてんいたんかひとくぽやん
And now um, we will share the Ho'oponopono prayer. And um, we know this is exactly what Ruben saying, that we need to clear and connect to our hearts. So Ruben, if you'd like to guide us in that. We will wait, young way. By some yana, why we are neat young yes, your mummy to cut numb to ten half to Ubi. Cock what umma tamoy kayun, ay, cock what umma yes tamoy, itanang was yui, yan o oit in a miay. A cacame took the nak eye, ang happy two or cuts it ang eye, and a pisus of heat, a pony to come away ang eye. By all with a myth, ita cuts yef ita okio ak. Ay, nan me yan pehikin eh. It ita kahupir ahoy na hupit tan hap yu ubi eh. Payan senen. Yu itam ahoy lun mat katsi na mat wila lai kayani. Yef yan tangam. Lun mat pitch kwan itakat. Yan ima ay. Isat sinumoy. Tangam yan pitch kwan tatak. Ubi tam halay kya kyang kana pewa na ya kyang. Halay kya kyang ahoy na kya si tutani. Kanana mi hinyang ni. Kanana mi nanay wa ni. Alay kang ubi piyo kahita iwi po ya kyang. Ya lulmat piyo itam ang tafki ni was kyang. Lulmat ang mihik ni was kyang. Lulmat hapi awa piyo talong na yan hapi ubi eh. Pai pas ubi lulmat ni. Yes yo ni. Uyumak kita timoyam ta katsitam na wukyang tan ni susuk. Iti puni itu tak kami amumuma, awak yakin tani berkuat. No translation needed because this is for the spirits that were always here first to give thanks, to give gratitude for allowing us to live in their sacred space. And may we all find happiness in our life. Thank you for sharing that um, Ho'oponopono in Hopi. And um, now we will all do it together in English. And you know, Ho'oponopono is really powerful prayer. Um, I actually, um, it touched me deeply um, and I learned it with Dr. Emoto. So um, all you have to do is really connect to your sincere heart and um, it really creates a powerful effect. So we'll just repeat it three times now. Water, I am sorry. Water, I'm sorry. Water, please forgive me. Water, please forgive me. Water, thank you. Water, thank you. Water, I love you. Water, I love you. Water, I am sorry. Water, I am sorry. Water, please forgive me. Water, please forgive me. Water, thank you. Water, thank you. Water, I love you. Water, I love you. Water, I am sorry. Water, I am sorry. Water, please forgive me. What? Water, thank you. Water, thank you. Water, I love you. Water, I love you. And so that completes our ceremony today. And um, I'm really grateful that everyone joined us. And um, 
I feel all liquidy and watery, Ruben. Um, it was really amazing for you to, you know, share all that special personal stuff, you know. Um, and, um, you know, if, if you guys enjoyed that, please come join back for eight days. Ruben is going to be sharing um, prayer and song and um, also, you know, um, Ruben is an amazing um, silversmith. And um, I wanted to share this with you because he was talking about that we are clouds and he said that this is the water clan symbol, right? With the clouds in the center, water coming down on the side, and then you have the um, lightning and thunder on either side there. And Ruben, would you want to share that water is life message? Um, with everyone well simply we are water so let's flow like the water and reach out to touch as many human beings to awaken their hearts so that they can embrace a hopey life a long life a healthy life this is the journey that is for all of us as human beings, as we all live together with all life here on Mother Earth. Very simple, but yet profound when you awaken your heart. Thank you. And I will cherish this and also cherish, you know, the, your wisdom. And the, these are gifts that we can take with us. Um, it, wherever we go and share with others too. It's just so if you guys want to connect with Ruben more, um, please visit our page, uh, waterpeaceproject.org, Ruben Salfke, hy hyphen Salfke. I'll put the link there for you guys. And on behalf of our team, we are sincere love and gratitude, Ruben. And thanks for each one of you who participated in this powerful ceremony. And please leave a comment, let us letting us know where you're joining from and also, the results and research from these experiments was recently published, so you can check that out on our page. And also, um, you know, every month we are, you know, doing this, so we hope that you join us. We have next month. So please join us every month on the 11th, and next month we are really excited um, um, that we are announcing today. Uh, we have an honorary guest joining us spiritual uh chief spiritual elder daniel eagle warrior ramos and wachi clan mother alda glover so together we are going to pay our respects to water and to mother earth and we hope all of you will join us in resonance and all it takes is your sincere heart so when we come together in water and um we come together with everyone around the world and we are healing ourselves and the world. So peace be with everyone and thank you. We love you. Thank you for joining us, Ruben. Thank you. Thank you. Bye everyone.